గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ అందరికి మైథల్ నాగరాజు కెమిస్ట్రీ లెక్చరర్ వెల్కమ్ టు తిర్నా కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాసెస్ దిస్ ఛానల్ ఈజ్ మెంట్ ఫార్ కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాసెస్ నౌ దిస్ ఈజ్ మై సెకండ్ లెక్చర్ ఆన్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ కెమిస్ట్రీ పాపిక్ సొల్యూషన్స్ అండ్ పార్ట్ టూ previously i have loaded part 1 in which we have covered what is a solution and what are the various types of solutions and mainly we focused on how to determine the concentration of a solution for that we have seen various methods one is weight by weight percent weight by volume percent volume by volume percent molarity molality mole fraction today we left with three more contents for the determination of concentration of the solution one is normality another is parts per million third one is parts per week in this first i am going to discuss about the normal what is normal normality is nothing but it is the number of gram equivalence of solute present in one liter of the solution it is the number of gram equivalence of solute present in 1 liter of the solution and is denoted by capital n right here what is the formula for normality form now normality formula for normality is number of gram equivalence of solute by volume of solution in liters volume of solution in liters we know that the gram equivalence is equal to weight by gram equivalent weight of the solute that's why we can rewrite as a weight of the solute by gram equivalent weight of the solute into 1 by volume of the solution in liters then we know that uh, volume in liters and milliliters are related as like this that's why we can write it as a normal is equal to weight of the solute by gram equivalent weight of the solute into 1000 by volume of the solution in milliliters generally we can read it as a n or normal one normal one 1n means one capital n means 1 normal 0.5 m 0.5 normal we will read it as a normal or the its units of n or gram equivalence per liter here we, are, we already aware that gram molecular weight now here there is a new word gram equivalent weight what is the gram equivalent weight and how to determine it determination of gram equivalent weight is, depends on the nature of the solute it varies from solute to solute right for acids gram equivalent weight is given by gram molecular weight by basicity gram molecular weight by basicity right basicity is uh, it is the number of uh, replaceable hydrogens it is the number of uh, replaceable hydrogens replaceable hydrogens means uh, hydrogens uh, which are attached to the highly electronegative atoms uh, such as oxygen fluorine fluorine and so on for example if you take hcl only one hydrogen is attached and is attached to the highly electronegative element that is fluorine that's why its density is 1 if you take sulfuric acid sulfuric acid in this uh, density is 2 as here in sulfuric acid the structure if you take uh, there are uh, two hydrogens attached to the oxygen that's why its density is uh, 2 if you take uh, ortho phosphoric acid h3po4 its density is uh, 3 because all the three hydrogens are connected to the uh, oxygen highly electronic element oxygen whereas if you take ortho phosphorus acid h3po3 even though there are three hydrogens one hydrogen is connected directly to the phosphorus that's why uh, and two more hydrogens are connected to the oxygen that's why its density is 2 so for acids gram equivalent weight is calculated by you can am calculated by using gram molecular weight by bcct gram molecular weight by bcct if you take for bases how to get gram equivalent weight gram equivalent weight is equal to gram molecular weight by acidity acidity is the number of replaceable hydroxide ions you see for uh, bases no by seeing the number of hydroxide ions we can see if you take NaOH sodium hydroxide as there is only one hydroxide ion there is density is only one if you take barium hydroxide there are two hydroxide ions that's why its density is two if you take aluminum hydroxide aloh thrice its density is three like this we can calculate the 
gram equal into weight per weight. What about salts? We know that the salts, how salts are formed when an acid is mixed with a base salt and water form. This reaction we are calling it as the neutralization. For salts, gram equal into weight is calculated by using gram molecular weight by total charge on all the cations or anions. Charge on either all the cations or anions. Here we take NaCl. And there are two ions Na plus and Cl minus ion. Here the charge on the cations, only one cation is there, Na plus, that's why it is plus one. And a chloride ion, only one anion is there, it is minus one. Here, whether it is a plus or minus, you leave it. And what is the charge on the cation or anion is one unit. That's why gram equivalent weight is equal to gram molecular weight by one. We take magnesium chloride. There are there is a one magnesium ion Mg plus two, and there are two chloride ions. That's why charge is two. That's why gram molecular weight by two. We take for aluminium chloride. This gram equivalent weight is given by gram molecular weight by three. This is regarding uh, salts. If you take how to calculate the gram equivalent. What about the uh, oxidant and reductants? Oxidant and reductants. We already aware in our first year you have studied in stoichiometry topic oxidation and reduction. What is an oxidation? Oxidation is nothing but addition of oxygen is called oxidation. Removal of hydrogen is called oxidation. Removal of electrons are called oxidation. Increase in oxidation state is called oxidation. Similarly, reduction means decrease in oxidation state is called reduction. Oxidant means or oxidant which is also known as oxidizing agent. Oxidant or oxidizing agent, what it means is here the one which oxidizes the other, we are calling it as the oxidant or oxidizing agent. Whereas reductant means the one which reduces the other, we are calling it as the reductant. Here gram equivalent weight is given by gram molecular weight by change in oxidation number or number of electrons transport. If you take, uh, for example, in acidic medium, permanganate ion, MnO4 minus ion reduces to Mn plus 2. Here, the oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 in Mn plus 2 plus 2. That's why change in oxidation state is 5 units. That's why gram equivalent weight is given by gram molecular weight by 5. So this is the way to calculate uh, uh, gram equivalent weight of uh, various substances right so uh, this is regarding the normal next content is parts per million and parts per billion actually these methods are useful but to express very 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 low concentrations in certain cases we may require very 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 little quantity of solute but uh, we need to express it for that we are using parts per million or parts per billion Parts per million ppm is the number of parts of solute present in 10 to the power of 6 parts of the solution and is given by ppm is equal to number of parts of the solute by number of parts of the solution into 10 to the power of 6. Whereas ppb parts per billion, it is the number of parts of solute present in billion parts of the solution. So this is the formula for parts per billion. Here we need to, in the examination point of view, IPE examination point of view, intermediate public examination point of view, we need to focus on numericals. Definitely there is a chance to ask one or two, one numerical from this concentration determination methods. Right? Here I am going to uh, give few examples. We have problems. We are going to solve them. First one is calculate the 10 grams of sodium carbonate is dissolved in 40 grams of water. Calculate the mass percent of sodium carbonate. Here, if it is asked like this, here solute is sodium carbonate, solvent is water, and uh, what is given given that uh, weight of the sodium carbonate is 10 grams and weight of the water is 40 grams. What about weight of the solution? Weight of the solute plus solvent, 40 plus 10, which is equal to uh, 50 grams. Now we know that percentage weight by weight is equal to mass percentage is equal to weight of solute by weight of solution into 100. That's why 10 by 50 into 100, it is becoming 2% by mass. 2% by mass. Next one is 10.6 grams of sodium carbonate is dissolved in 250 ml of the solution. Calculate the molarity of the solution. 
here so given that weight of the sodium carbonate is 1.6 grams volume of the solution is 250 ml and uh, molecular weight of the sodium carbonate we know that uh, uh, molecular formula of sodium carbonate is na2co3 uh, here two sodiums one carbon and three oxygens that's why 2 into 23 plus 1 into 12 plus 3 into 16 which is equal to 1 oxygen we know that formula for molar molarity is weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by volume of solution in ml that's why if we substitute we are getting 0.4 capital right this is regarding our second now so this is the quite a uh, little bit uh, calculate the mole fraction of sulfuric acid in 10 percent weight by weight uh, aqueous sulfuric acid solution here solute is the sulfuric acid solvent is the water given that mass percent of sulfuric acid is how much 10 percent 10 percent means already in part one we have discussed you don't know please go back to the one spot one and you see that how we express this weight percent and then come back to this 10 percent by means what it means 10 grams of sulfuric acid is present in 100 grams of the solution right weight of the sulfuric acid is 10 grams weight of the solution is 100 gram and what about weight of the solvent that is water we are getting 90 grams here we know that number of moles of sulfuric acid number of moles of sulfuric acid how to get solute number of moles of solute weight by gram molecular weight that is 10 by 98 10 grams of sulfuric acid and gram molecular weight of sulfuric acid is 98 that's why we are getting 0 0.102 moles what about number of moles of water number of moles of water is also equal to weight of water by gram molecular weight of water here given that weight of water is 90 grams gram molecular weight of water is 18 grams per mole that's why 5 moles mole fraction of sulfuric acid is given by we have already defined uh, defined that in part one what is the mole fraction it is the ratio between number of moles of one component to the total number of moles of all the components here only there are two components one is sulfuric acid another is water here we are calculating the mole fraction of sulfuric acid number of moles of sulfuric acid is equal to how much 0 0.102 whereas total number of moles becomes 5 plus 0 0.102 5.102 that's why it is becoming 0 0.02 this is the mole fraction of sulfuric acid if they ask to calculate the mole fraction of water what will happen 5 by 5.102 it may become around with uh, 0 0.98 right this is the way to calculate the mole fraction and then uh, the solution suppose glucose solution is labeled as 40 percent weight by weight calculate the molality of the solution here weight of the glucose is 40 grams weight of the solution is 100 grams what will happen to weight of the solvent it becomes 60 grams we know that glucose molecular formula is uh, C6 H12O6 that's why uh, its molecular weight becomes 180 gram per mole here what is the formula for molality and 40 by 180 into 1000 by 60 it becomes 3.7 molar solution right so with this in solutions topic we have completed one of the important concept that is determination of concentration of a solution in our next class, we will continue our solutions topic. I have already told, uh, in out of that nine types of solutions, we are going to discuss about uh, only three types. One is gas in liquid, another is a liquid in liquid, third one is a solid in liquid type of solutions. Those details you, will, you can see in the part three of solutions. Uh, thank you for watching Trans Chemistry classes. Please don't forget to subscribe. To get notifications, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you one and all.